Here we have an opportunity to eradicate this disease, to save lives of hundreds of thousands of young people, and to make sure that we have all of this talent, our most precious, my most, most precious resources, our children. We can do this, and we can do this not in another lifetime, we can do this in our lifetime. In fact, we can do this within the next few years. By 2015, we should not have malaria any place on the planet. There have been tremendous successes recently. There has been a 25 reduction in mortality in the last decade or so, and a 50% reduction in caseloads globally, and that's as the population of the world has grown. So we've really seen some astounding results for the investments that the U.S. Congress and the rest of the world have been putting in through PMI and through the Global Fund and through other activities, other, other governments. Well, I think that uh, we're using all the right tools right now. I think that the, uh, the diagnostics out there are important. The artemisinin-based combination therapy, which is used for treatment, is hugely important. And the bed nets, of course. What we need to focus on is that, that we need drugs that can fight resistance. We need, uh, we need nets that can fight resistance because the parasite is, is evolving, it's mutating, and so our tools need to be smarter. And, but we need to know that with the current tools, we don't need to wait around. We can actually go, get to the point of zero children dying due to malaria with the current tools. We need the vaccine to eradicate, but with the current tools, we can get to zero children dying due to malaria. The United Kingdom this week uh, committed, committed a billion dollars over the next three years towards the Global Fund, which is a large increase for the government of the United Kingdom in a time when everybody's feeling the pinch budgetarily. So it was really a great, a great announcement on the part of the, the United Kingdom. The U.S. government has also made great contributions to the fight against malaria. Has it been difficult to get your colleagues on board in this fight? It's the one area where we can agree. You know, we've got a lot of uh, disagreements going on in Washington right now, but one area that we've been able to come together, Democrats and Republicans, House and Senate, is uh, putting some resources together to eradicate a malaria and taking a leadership. You know, the announcement by the, by the Brits was great. We need to go around the world because this is a world issue. Here, we you know, it's UN week here. If we come together as a world community, there's no reason why we should not be able to eradicate this disease and, as I said, in at least by 2015.